want to thank our sponsor, Johnny Appleseed, for providing these flowers. There are a variety of reasons that people may want to consider container gardening. The biggest of those is to garden in a smaller space. You could put a taller plant in the center of the pot and arrange flowers of varying heights around that to be viewed from all sides. I'm going to arrange this pot with the tallest plant in the back to be viewed just from the front. And from there, I'm going to add some plants of varying sizes around the container. And they're of contrasting color. You could also do monochromatic uh, color arrangements. And we'll also want to start with some plants that will cascade over the front of the pot. If you have root-bound plants, you'll want to break up the roots a little bit before you set the plants into your pot. Then we'll want to fill in with plenty of soil around each of the individual plants. Once we finish filling in, we'll want to water those plants well so that they'll begin to take up water and nutrients. Another activity that you can include, especially with kids, is decorating the pots. You can get very artistic by painting designs on the pots. And if you're looking for an inexpensive container, you might consider planting things in a cardboard box and include a plastic liner. For the University of Wyoming Extension, this has been Donna Quinn from The Ground Up. <laughs>